just got done editing this interview. You guys are gonna love it. Before I do that though, I want you to know that I'm going to be in the comments for the next 30 minutes or so answering your questions. If there's additional questions you want me to ask the CEO next time I interview them, leave them below. Or if you're just loving the data points I get CEOs to share, click the thumbs up button below. That's your way of telling me you're loving this stuff and I'll get you more of it. Additionally, again, I'll be in the comments answering any questions you have. All right, for 30 minutes, enjoy the interview. Hello everyone, my guest today is Kunal Bhatia. He's putting a complex event planning software called Slides Up. He's a product designer from Boston, now living in San Francisco, and he's the co-founder and design lead at the company, Slides Up. He's an outdoor fitness enthusiast because of November Project and coaches at Uncommon Movement. Maybe we'll meet him at a free workout. Kunal, you ready to take us to the top? Sure am. So are you like super strong, you'd kick my butt at the gym? Oh, actually, I haven't been working out regularly for the last month since I moved out to San Francisco, but... You know, talk to me in three months. Maybe. So, so you're in San Francisco from Boston. Wh- which rent is more expensive? Uh, rent in Boston was zero dollars because I was living with my parents. So <laughs> I've got an infinite uh, rent increase in the most expensive market in the world. So how, out of curiosity, what are you paying now in, in San Francisco for rent? Uh, it's a temporary managed place from this place called Zeus Living. Uh, they're phenomenal. And my rent is thirty eight hundred with them. Okay. I get full airbnb style business ready rental from them furnished i like my personal move team zeus so what zeus what zeus living L- interesting i'll have to look that up okay good let's talk about slides up so what do you mean by complex event management software sure so anything that has many sessions or many speakers you know think uh, a sales kickoff meeting at a company or you know a team off-site um, something like trainings, workshops, even a leadership summit, any of these complex internal or external events that companies are hosting, you know, that's the kind of stuff that slides up will help you um, organize. Interesting. Okay, so that's the company. I mean, are you targeting enterprise SMB? What's the average company paying per year to use the technology? Sure. So uh, we started off with actually a different market with conference organizers. And, uh, you know, I got the feedback then from Hitan Shah. Um, you know, don't be in that uncanny valley of like, you know, there's the SMB market, then the uncanny valley and then enterprise, you know, mid market. Um, so we were right in that that dead zone before uh, we've since changed. Uh, our average contract value is now up above 10K. OK, 10K per year. Yeah. OK, that's great. So, uh, I mean, did you have to change anything about the product to change that ARPU? It was literally just positioning on the landing page. It was literally positioning, and we've done that positioning change in the last two months. Uh, We've run two enterprise pilots recently um, with uh, fabulous, you know, Fortune 500 uh, customers of ours. Um, So we're we're right now in that middle positioning uh, change, and it's going well so far. So the average new price is ten thousand dollars per year on these two pilots. But when you look at historically all of your customer base right now, what's the ARPU? I assume it's lower much lower. It was within that one to 5k range, which is, you know, not very uh, supportive of either sales model, whether it's product led sales or, you know, having, um, BDRs and, yeah. and a whole sales. So that's like, that's like a hundred or 200 bucks a month kind of positioning. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Put this on a timeline for me. When'd you launch? We launched about three years ago, um, and then went through uh, Y Combinator startup school in 2017. That sort of helped us accelerate our growth initially. Uh, we actually shut down in the middle officially uh, earlier this year, but um, you know, a couple months ago, we got uh, uh, some some people knocking on our doors to run enterprise uh, contracts, uh, enterprise pilots that we ran. Okay, so 2016, you launched, and now how many customers are you serving today? Uh, so we've got a handful in the new uh, space uh, with enterprise uh, companies as well as uh, mid-market companies. Mm-hmm. But but add up all of them, the new ones you're talking to right now and your old historic ones. Are we talking like 10 customers or like 100 or 10,000 or what? Yeah, between 10 and 100. Okay, between 10 and 100. Got it. So at a minimum, 10, right, at 200 bucks a month, you're doing north of 2,000 bucks a month right now in revenue? Yeah, much, much higher now because of the uh, the new mix of customers with the, the enterprise pilots. Have you closed any of those pilots yet, though? Or they're just... Yes, okay. we closed okay. them. We uh, got the bookings. Um, we still have, uh, you know, 10K of bookings to, uh, to cl- you know, um, collect on. But, Annual uh, or monthly bookings? Uh, these were one-time pilot deals that we're trying to convert into annual now. Got it. Okay, so if you if you 
it, when your own internal planning, you have to plan your own expenses, team members, your rent, food, blah, blah, blah. I mean, what do you put your monthly or your true monthly recurring revenue at right now? Sure. Um, it's, uh, it's still early because we're, you know, shifting that market. Um, so I would have to say it's somewhere on the five yeah. to 10 K scale. Yep. 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 Fair enough. Uh, with potentially a lot of change happening over the next 12 months as you move aggressively towards enterprise. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Very good. Um, where are you getting these two new enterprise pilots? How the, how they find you? Yeah, actually one was word of mouth, uh, from our very first customer, DroidCon Boston, a uh, fabulous conference uh, that they host over there for Android developers. And uh, one of the people who was on the volunteering team who was using our product uh, for uh, data through our API into their native app that they built for, for the conference, um, he basically wanted to do the same thing for his company. They were running uh, an internal IT conference, and okay. he basically used it for the exact same use case. Very cool. Okay, so he... It was the same person. It wasn't a referral. It was the same person at a different conference. Uh, yeah. So the buyer was different at the conference than the company. The The person at the company just happened to you have used it a little bit yeah. uh, while it's working with the conference organizer. You mentioned you went through YC. So you've raised some. How much total have you raised? Uh, we actually went through startup school, which is not the full YC program. So we haven't raised any uh, fully bootstrapped since day one. And what, how many folks are on the team? We have three right now, and we're just about to hire. Uh, we hired our first uh, marketing associate from uh, this platform called Gen M. Uh, so they'll mm-hmm. be doing some uh, outbounding with me. Spell that. It's G-E-N. Gen M. Yeah, kind of like Gen Z, except, you know, I guess Gen Marketer. Basically, you can get an apprentice, a marketing apprentice, uh, to help you uh, for fifty dollars a month, and uh, the exchange there is that you get to mentor them um, for a couple of hours. Is there good uh, quality people? Are they real hustlers? They're willing to work hard. They're willing to work hard, and uh, so far I've uh, interacted with two, and um, you know it's going well so far in week two. They're based in the U.S. or all over the world? All over the world. So our first one was from Chicago, and our second one is in Mexico City. Very cool. Okay, so the team's three today. Who's in? What's the split between engineers or business person? Yeah. So uh, basically, we have our CTO, uh, very seasoned vet in in the software industry, uh, has had one exit before, um, and then uh, it's myself as design lead, and we have a uh, salesperson as well as a, on the co-founding team. So, so those three people, I mean, those are not cheap. You're brought on this Gen M f- f- person. You're doing, you know, two, three, well, four or $5,000 a month right now in revenue. Are you guys just living off savings or not, there's not enough revenue yet to pay yourselves really? Correct. So I'm actually the only full-time person on this team. Uh, the other two co-founders are part-time. And, you know, once we uh, are able to get that revenue higher, they'll be able to join full-time as well. Okay. So, I mean, how do you, you're working on two pilots right now. What do you think you need to get the revenue to so that it's an easy conversation for you to recruit them in full time? Cause obviously you want them full time. That'll help you grow faster. Yep. Well, the conversation is pretty easy because I've worked with them in the past and they know where we're heading. Um, so basically, you know, we want to get North of six figure revenue, um, you know, at least, uh, to start having that conversation of, you know, when, so you're halfway um, there, halfway there. All right. Now, um, uh, talk to me about growth, right? So if you're doing five grand a month today, what were you doing a year ago? <laughs> Almost zero because uh, we, uh, you know, had to shut down. <laughs> but we had. Why did you exist- have to shut down? Uh, it just didn't make sense for me personally. Um, you know, I wasn't growing anymore personally. wasn't learning as much. We were just, you know, hitting a, a you know, pushing a boulder up the hill, which wasn't worth pushing. Um, in the conference organizer space. And I can go into more details there about why that sales cycle is really tough. Um, But, you know, we were all kind of exhausted there. And so, um, you know, until the enterprise pilots didn't come in and and re-energize the team, um, it it was a a pretty rough year last year. Well, why do these enterprise accounts come to you? I mean, there's a lot of well-established players in this place, but Bizabo, CVAN, Social Tables, why did they come to you? Yeah, I think uh, in general, the event market Uh, Event uh, tech market is a very unloved space. Um, I I think uh, everyone knows Cvent, everyone knows Bizabo, but it's sort of a necessary evil. You know, I personally came from the healthcare market, and it's kind of like Epic. Everyone knows Epic, but they hate to use it. Mm -hmm. Why does everyone hate using Cvent and Bizabo? 
Same reason Epic, same reason for, you know, Salesforce. These are like form written products. Like you have to fill out multiple, you know, pages of long forms and it doesn't really help you do your job any better. It's just, you know, everyone's on there. So you have to be on there as well. And, you know, they've got decent amount of market share. Uh, so if you're not using them and you're not bringing them from job to job, it's like, you know, no one's going to get fired by using Cvent or Visibo or, you know, Salesforce. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. Very good. Um, any plans to raise capital or are you going to stay bootstrapped? Yeah. Um, right now we're staying bootstrapped and that's the intention to go for as long as possible. Uh, if we see some reason that we should be raising, uh, we may pursue it, but that's not in the cards right now. Very good. Let's wrap up here, Kunal. What the famous five? Number one, what's your favorite business book? Oh, that's got to be Ben Horowitz's The Hard Thing About Hard Things. And my next book from him is Waiting at My Doorstep at My Parents' House in Boston. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Yes. Uh, I mean, the the one that I'm following now is uh, Ted Blaser from WorkRamp. I did a short stint with, uh, with WorkRamp and, and learned a lot from them. Uh, Going to be really excited to see where WorkRamp's heading in the next year. Number three, you think the IPO or something? Oh, I mean, yeah, that's that's easy for them. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're, what are they at? They're at a. They're, are they doing more than 100 million bucks in revenue? Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, revenue numbers right now, but uh, you know they have very large enterprise customers. Uh, they're all Xbox uh, early hires, so they've been there, done that. They've failed on their own startups before that, so they're like very seasoned. Uh, they know what they're doing, and for this stage where they're at like 30 employees now. Um, they're well north of where most startups would be, and they raised from Bo Capital, so they're in, in good company, initial as capital, all of them as well. Number three, Number what's three, your favorite what's online your favorite? tool for building your company? <laughs> Besides slides up and uh, making us uh, plan events in Zen mode, uh, we we actually, side note there, we dog food our own product to host events. And you know, normally events are a dead end you know, funnel, but we turn that into a content growth loop. Um, that being said, uh, we love Stripe. Uh, yep. Built uh, Stripe, uh, the whole company off of Stripe and Stripe Atlas. They were the first, uh, you know, partner we had in in getting that first payment for the first pilot. Number four. How many hours of sleep do you get every night? Right now, it's about six, which is unfortunate. But I'm trying to get back up to eight, where I was uh, before the move. All right, six. And what's your situation? Married, single, kids? Single. Okay. And how old are you? I am now thirty. Thirty years old. Very good. Uh, last question. What do you wish your twenty year old self knew? Uh, just focus, right? Uh, I think being intentional about the way that you build things, uh, do things in life, um, and, and make sure that you're taking care of yourself so that you can take care of others and, and serve others. Guys, slides of event planning software, three, uh, 10 customers right now call it about 400, 500 bucks a month, doing about four to five grand a month right now in revenue with some big enterprise pilots happening uh, that they hope they convert to 10, $20,000 per year kind of contracts. They've got three folks on the team right now, one engineer, one sales rep, and then Kunal leading all the design. Too early to talk about other unit economics, but they are doing this all bootstrap. So operating at break even as they look to scale, Hoping to hit 100,000 bucks in terms of ARR before some other team members join back up full time. Kunal, thank you for taking us to the top. Thank you very much, Nathan. These CEOs rarely give these kinds of interviews. I hit them hard, I get the data, and I want to do it more. So if you want to get more of this stuff, make sure you subscribe up here. And then additionally, go check out one of my other CEO interviews right now.